Hello, uh, welcome to our pastoral update uh, for Friday 12th of June. Uh, we are now many, many weeks uh, into lockdown uh, and in a funny way, uh, it almost feels a bit normal now. Uh, when, when we started these videos, everything seemed so different and so new. Uh, we are now going to do these updates about once a fortnight and then uh, in a few weeks time, we'll maybe go down to around once a month. But we're really pleased to have the opportunity uh, to speak with you. And we hope that wherever you are, uh, we hope this week has been good and that you know God's presence and help with you. Today I want to talk about this flower. Uh, you'll have noticed every week in our services we have a lovely bunch of flowers and we're very grateful to those who provide them. Uh, but I found this flower uh, and I, I stole it from the bunch uh, beside our lectern. And I wanted to talk about this flower because uh, it's beautiful. Uh, I love the white petals and the wee green bit in the middle and even the leaves and the stalk are really nice. Uh, and at this time of year, it's great to see flowers just coming into bloom and gardens bursting into life. So flower here is beautiful, yes. However, uh, this flower is also broken. And when I went over to look at this flower in the, the vase, uh, at first I saw just the nice, uh, white petals and a nice flower shape. But when I looked more closely, I saw that it was actually broken. Uh, and so this flower is beautiful, but it's also broken. And I wanted to talk about that because um, that's exactly how the Bible describes our world. The Bible describes the world, including humanity, as beautiful, but also broken. We've seen that brokenness uh, really very powerfully over these past few weeks and months. We've seen the brokenness of disease and all the, the hurt and pain that that can bring. And even in these last few weeks, we've also seen the brokenness of the way in which uh, people can treat one another uh, and in all the ways in which um, uh, people have been discriminated against uh, when, when they shouldn't have been. And beautiful people have suffered hurt and injustice, and that's been recognized. So we've seen a lot of the brokenness, but in amongst all that, we've also seen uh, so much of the beauty uh, in the world and of the beauty in people. Throughout the whole coronavirus uh, crisis, people have shown amazing kindness and love. Key workers have done an incredible job, and you've all been amazing in terms of keeping in touch with one another, and we're so thankful for that. And the same with the protests that we see just now, the fact that people are so upset at the injustices uh, around racial inequality is, is actually a sign of, of, of the beautifulness of humanity. The fact that we know that that is wrong and we don't want things like that to continue. So we see all around us that the world is, is beautiful but broken, just like this flower. The amazing thing is that God recognises that. He sees the beauty in the world. And no wonder, because he made the world and he made you and me. But he also sees the brokenness. And he doesn't want to leave us in that broken state. He actually wants to rescue us and restore us. And that's the whole point of Jesus' mission. And that's the great goal which the Bible is working towards. The fact that this beautiful world that has been broken will be restored and put right. And there's an amazing description of that uh, in Revelation chapter 21 that I just want to read for you uh, from verses, just from the first verse there. It says, Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth, for the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. And I saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Behold, the dwelling place of God is with man. He will dwell with them and they will be his people and God himself will be with them as their God. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes, and death shall be no more, neither shall there be mourning, nor crying, nor pain any more, for the former things have passed away. And he who was seated on the throne said, Behold, I am making all things new. It's an amazing description of how God is going to restore the world and put things right. And that's the amazing thing about God. I, I pick up that flower, and I, I see that it's beautiful, and I see that it's broken. And the one thing that I can't do is fix it. I can't put that back together. And that, that flower's stem is, is broken. But the amazing thing about God is that he looks at the brokenness in the world, 
He looks at the brokenness in us and he says, I can fix it and I will fix it and I'll send my son to die in order to put it right. So as we kind of move out of lockdown and as we see things recovering, um, may that be an amazing reminder to us all of, of the great plan that God has for creation and for us, that through uh, all that Jesus has done and through our faith in him, God is making all things new and we can look forward uh, to an amazing future when uh, our beautiful world and God's beautiful humanity is no longer broken, but through everything that Jesus has done, it's fixed. Thank you.